It's time for Around the Ozarks News, brought to you by the Springfield Green County Park Board, Roto-Rooter Plumbing and Drain Service, Blue Current, and Thompson Sales. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Hey, good morning. Happy Wednesday. It is Diana again, not Ethan and (laughs) Sarah. So thanks for being with us. And um, yeah, Diana, thanks for getting up early again. Ah, Happy home day. Pinch hitting when we need you. Yes, we've made it halfway through. Um, To be honest, I felt like last week went by quickly and this week, not so much. It's flying by for me. I, is I was it gonna say this week you? is flying by. That's awesome. Like that. That's I'm, great. I'm news. partially caffeinated, so maybe yeah. that's why. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's helpful. Um, okay. We will begin with this. It looks like the Jefferson Avenue footbridge is gonna get new life after all. The city approved a multi-million dollar bond or, or bid, I should say, bid, not a bond, a bid, uh, to fix some deterioration issues. That iconic bridge has been closed for eight years, deemed unsafe. Uh, even for foot traffic. In the last year, materials, they say, have increased by about 30%. Uh, Branco mm-hmm. Enterprises got the bid, and they plan to start work next spring. Nice. It's been in the news for so long. Yeah, you know? finally. <laughs> We've been talking about it forever. So yes. it looks like it is moving forward. Progress, yay. Completed as progress. Uh, pr- completed Pro- as promised. They'll yeah. have that sign Progress up, as sure. promised or whatever it says, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know the one you're talking about, just so you know. I know. I know what that looks like. I just couldn't get words out. Um, well, City Utilities is saying thank you to the community for riding the bus. Tomorrow, they are offering free bus rides. And Friday, you can celebrate public transit with the Springfield Cardinals. Friday is Spirit Day. And customers who wear red will get a free bus ride and a voucher for a Springfield Cardinals game ticket. CU is hoping that more people will hop on to public transportation. So have you ever ridden the bus, Sarah? Not here. I mean, I lived in Washington, D.C. for a season of my life, and I only ever rode the Metro. I did not own a car there. So I love public transportation, love the idea of it. In Springfield, for me, with my crazy hours, it doesn't work for me. But I love the idea of public transportation. Yeah, I've ridden the bus and it's it's always interesting. You meet the most interesting people, I feel like. So that is true. Oh, go meet a new friend on the bus. Yeah. And you know what? It doesn't even matter what city you're in, whether you're in Springfield or Washington, D.C., you will meet a character and it will be memorable. (laughs) Yeah, it's fun to people watch as well, even if you don't want to talk to anybody. (laughs) But (laughs) meanwhile, from bus travel to air travel, airports are breaking records. The TSA is anticipating more than 32 million people traveling by air over the 4th of July holiday weekend. That's almost five and a half percent more people than last year at this time. This Friday, the TSA is also expecting a single day record. So I think people are like fully recovering from from their lack of being able to travel during COVID. And now like they got money saved up. They're going places. They're making the money. I know. Yeah. So it's what a stark difference a few years makes. Right. For sure. Um, Which is good. I mean, good, good for the industry. Uh, The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is building big in Springfield. The church has plans to build a temple in town. It's going to go on to East Farm Road 188 on about 40 acres of land. Uh, In Missouri, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has about 75,000 members. Wow, that's a lot. And it is still hot outside. It has been sweltering. Um, I hope people are drinking a lot of water. But um, when it's this hot, it means that some public pools, not schools, (laughs) some public pools in Springfield are staying open later for folks to cool off. Uh, The Westport pool will stay open until 8 p.m. That's on the west side of town. And then the public is also invited to the Ozark Stream and Fountain at Jordan Valley Park. That one is always free. So it's super fun to go and hang out and let kids splash in the big fountain there. The fountains run from 10 a.m. until 9 p.m. every day. So yeah, that is cool. That one's a fun one. Um, yeah, for the younger kids, especially, but I guess any yep. age might want to go cool off when it's this hot outside. For sure. Um, all right. Speaking of heat, watch out if you eat ice cream. 
Because who doesn't eat ice cream? I would like to know. Uh, the FDA is recalling some types of ice cream sold at Walmart. Uh, the yeah. company, which is called Totally Cool Incorporated, it's based in Maryland. They sell some products at Walmart, and some of them could contain listeria. Um, also, some brands such as Hershey's Ice Cream and Jenny's ice cream uh, are being recalled. So if you have ice cream from Walmart, you'll want to check out the brand online before you eat it or take it back to the store for a full refund. Well, that's totally uncool. <laughs> the really cool brand. <laughs> you know what? Now that you said it like that, because that was hilarious. People will remember, will remember totally the- uncool ice cream with listeria yes. in it. So I Except hope they- for the brand actually totally cool but you see what she did there see now you'll remember i like it um all right so springfield cardinals the redburn run red bird run is coming up this saturday um put on by the heartland racing company so you can lace up your shoes and get to move in with your friends um they are kind of doing a thing for everyone they have a one mile dash um a 5k a 9K endurance run, and then a kids fun run happening at the stadium. Um, It's called Run to the Stadium. It comes with a cute t-shirt. So check it out. The Springfield Cardinals Red Bird Run this coming Saturday morning, starting around like 7 a.m. So Mm -hmm. it is a good cause, a good time, and get yourself some family fitness before you go out and eat ice cream. Or all the desserts on the table at your barbecue for yeah. Fourth of July weekend. <laughs> that too. That too. Right? There's been a lot of that lately, to be honest oh, with you. I'm a I'm a sucker for barbecues. I will just load up that plate multiple yeah. times. It's terrible. Yeah. I and get you. I I, I'm I feel terrible. what you're stepping in. I do. <laughs> well, finally, how about heading to Marshfield for the 4th of July. We'll tell you why. There are they're having a parade and celebration and Governor Parson and is the Grand Marshal this year. So that's cool. Uh the parade starts at 10 a.m. on the 4th of July on Marshfield Square and there will be vendors around the square before and after the parade. I'm sure local places you can help support. They'll also have a bungee trampoline lined up. That sounds water- amazing by the oh way. My goodness. Can can we all just sign up right now? I feel like it's right up my alley. And this is my favorite. I mean, it's my favorite fruit ever. They're going to have a watermelon eating contest for politicians. <laughs> I am not a politician, but it's my favorite um, food as well. And I feel like I could give anyone a run for their money on a watermelon eating competition. Oh my goodness. I just want it with seedless, you know, but the chamber will have uh, fireworks the evening of the fourth at the Webster County Fairgrounds uh, during the rodeo. So if that's not enough for you with watermelon politicians eating <laughs> watermelons <laughs> and trampoline bungee jumping and a parade and governor parson i mean yeah fireworks y'all it's gonna be amazing um i think that's hilarious that you said that you want them seedless because i <laughs> at one point when my kids are really young like i don't know they were maybe the oldest was six um so they would have been like two four and six years old and we could live on watermelon um but there was a time where i got a watermelon from the farmer's market as opposed to a grocery store. And so it was like the old school, more natural, of course, watermelon that had seeds. And whenever I opened it up, uh, one of my children, I don't know which one it was. I think it was the middle one, but she goes, mom, there's little black bugs in here. I said, no, those aren't bugs. Those are seeds. She was like seeds. And I was like, oh my goodness, they've been spoiled. They've been (laughs) spoiled. And I didn't even know it. So, oh, but I mean, the seeds are so annoying because you're like onto a really good thing and then you got to fish the seeds out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like sunflower seeds having to de-shell them in your mouth. And yeah, which is the the process of sunflower seeds. And I'm like, no, just give me the seed. Right. Not in the shell. Yeah. Unless I'm on a car trip and then I like, like, you know, you stick them the out process. the window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. Well, thanks so much, Diana, for joining us and You're to welcome. everyone else who's listening. Thank you for waking up early. Share this with your friends and um, anything else, anything else you got? We hope to well, see you back here tomorrow morning. For sure. And stay tuned for wake up weather. 
Yeah, Isn't she doing true. that next, Abby Dyer? Yes, wake up weather with Abby. And maybe we're going to get some relief and maybe some rain, I think, right? Is that true? I hope You should so. watch Abby. You should keep it to the professionals. She knows But I everything. feel like I saw rain on like the, a little icon. So then Please. I was like, ooh. My yeah. grass was dying. <laughs> yeah, we, we could use it. That's for sure. Um, okay. Yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Have a good one. It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, sponsored by Scooters Coffee and Rescue Towing. Here's your host, meteorologist, Abby Dyer. Good morning, everybody. You are listening to Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather. I am meteorologist Abby Dyer, but maybe the storms woke you up this morning instead of the podcast. We have a line of showers and thunderstorms marching through the Ozarks. First thing, even on the radar in the pre-dawn hours this morning, this is going to be roaring south through the Ozarks as we head closer to mid-morning. It'll move into northern Arkansas, and then by midday, it's totally gone and out of here. There are some strong thunderstorms, though, with some heavy rain, some high wind, and some hail possible this morning. So an active start to midweek, but it'll end up being another hot and humid day with mainly dry time expected by the time we get to the afternoon hours. All these storms will be a thing of the past. A stormy start, though, for sure. And I mentioned these storms are diving south pretty quickly. I don't have much left by the time we get to the lunch hour. As these storms march through, though, just know that it's the leading edge. Edge that's the strongest. It carries the wind threat. There have also been a few reports of hail so far this morning. So something to keep in mind early on on the radar, this may impact your morning drive. But like I said, I think most of our Missouri counties are totally dry by mid-morning and by midday, this is out of here. It has moved south of the area. Wind and hail though possible with the storms that are out there this morning. So big heads up to you as you start the midweek. I have conditions that are likely going to be hot and humid by this afternoon, but a change in the forecast today compared to yesterday is that there's no heat advisory. Even though high temperatures may still make it to 90 today behind this line of showers and thunderstorms, I think, still think it's going to be pretty muggy. It'll be another hot day in the Ozarks. You'll have to find a way to cool down later this afternoon with unsettled weather kind of focused in the Midwest today. Hot and humid weather for the remainder of the week is with us too. Highs will pretty much jump between the upper 80s and low 90s for the rest of the work week forecast. And even as we head into the weekend, I see an opportunity for very warm temperatures. Speaking of the weekend, there's also another chance for some scattered shower and thunderstorm activity. I think starting by Friday, lasting through Saturday and Sunday. However, I got to say the chance for rain looks very isolated, nothing that's going to be too widespread. Best chance for rain happening now in the Ozarks as of five o'clock in the morning. As I mentioned, these storms are moving out of here by midday. Overnight, we'll be back into the upper 60s for lows. I have temperatures tomorrow that have no trouble making it to the low 90s once again. Under mostly sunny skies, we heat up again for Friday and Saturday. Upper 90s possible again, both Friday and Saturday of this weekend. And then I introduce that rain chance back into the forecast. That's by the time we get to Saturday. So a couple of storms that we'll be dodging in the weekend forecast. Not looking like a total washout, however. Around the country, what's making headlines today? It's the heat wave. It's ongoing uh, for the southeast, the mid-south, the central, and southern plains here. You know, we're part of it here in the Ozarks, even though there's no heat advisory out for us. Also making headlines today is the flooding from South Dakota. Complex of showers and thunderstorms moved through South Dakota yesterday. In McCook, South Dakota, there are roads that are missing. It was incredible flooding and devastation up north. So thankfully, we are not going to be dealing with that level of flooding here in the Ozarks uh, with this round of thunderstorms heading through for us as we head into the afternoon hours. All right, it's time for the Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather Brain Twister Trivia question for the day. Here's the question that I left you with yesterday. What state boasts the shortest one-way commute time to work? Do you think it is A, Rhode Island, B, Missouri, C, Vermont, or D, South Dakota? I think probably upon hearing this question, most folks' natural reaction would think, oh, Rhode Island, you you can't even go that far. (laughs) Uh, It has got to be the the shortest, but that is not the correct answer. Uh, The correct answer, surprising to me, is actually D. It's South Dakota. Shortest one-way commute time to 
work. Uh, this was a survey done by bankrate.com and South Dakota is the big winner here. Um, South Dakotans have the shortest commute average time of 17.4 minutes. Now it's not the shortest distance. It's the shortest commute time. Uh, pretty unbelievable. If you're wondering who has the longest commute time, that would be the New Yorkers. Uh, they have an average travel time of 33.2 minutes. We're not doing so bad here in Missouri and Arkansas. Arkansas, 22.2 minutes. That's average. And in Missouri, it is 23.8. So a little bit longer than Northern Arkansas. But the big winner, South Dakota, uh, North Dakota, not far behind at 17.9 minutes kind of some interesting stats here. Um, Wyoming, also a very short commute time, 18 minutes there. And uh, some of the other states with very high commute times, Massachusetts, nearly 30 minutes commute time there. And uh, New Jersey, 31.1 minutes. So we're lucky in comparison here in the Ozarks in both the states of Missouri and Arkansas. But South Dakota, the big winner, shortest one-way commute time to work. All right, here's the question that I'll leave you with for tomorrow. 50-50 shot to win $20 to Scooter's Coffee. True or false? Fingernails grow faster than toenails. Is that a true or a false statement? Let me know what you think. You can enter the contest. That's over at AroundTheOzarks.com. Thank you so much to Scooters and to Rescue Towing for sponsoring Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather. I sure appreciate you listening this morning. I hope everybody stays safe with the morning storms. If you don't like them, they'll be gone by mid-morning, definitely by midday. Have a good one. We'll chat again early tomorrow.